Welcome back to Tech Talks. This is part two of where we're discussing the whole battery development process that we've developed here in Tilly at Marla. Again, I'm joined with Adrian Cooper, our Chief Engineer for Development. Uh, Adrian, last time we were talking about all the development up to uh, building prototypes. Mm. So once we've got our prototypes, then we start moving into the testing side of things. And we've just opened the battery development centre here at, yeah. in Northampton, in Northampton in the UK. Can you tell us a bit more about what kind of testing we can do in the BDC? Yeah, well, within the BDC, we've got facilities for cell testing, module testing, and pack testing. So, you know, on, on a typical project, the work we do, you know, we'd be doing cell characterization work to understand in detail the characteristics of the cells and get our own data on how they're performing um, in terms of their charge and discharge characteristics, but also their characteristics over a range of sort of different operating cycles. We then do testing at sort of module level or sub-module testing okay. to make sure that the building blocks of the pack all perform as they should. And at this kind of stage, we might start doing work like some of the venting work, some of the thermal propagation tests to make sure that the, the concept they're proposing is, it, it, yeah, meets all the requirements of those tests. And then that builds up to sort of module and like full pack testing where we're looking at the performance characteristics of the pack, the charge and discharge characteristics, um, operating the packs over representative usage cycles. Um, we'd also, you know, obviously do the regulatory tests. We'd be doing things like supporting shaker rig tests, um, thermal propagation tests, fire resistance tests, all the standard tests that we need to do within the packs. Um, here in our performance development centre, you know, we've got four test chambers where we can test full packs. Each of those have got a 250 kilowatt um, cell cycler attached to them, we can combine all of those together and we can test packs up to one megawatt in capacity. Yeah, it's quite a, quite yeah, a really large. facility. Yeah. Okay. And obviously that pack, um, within the BDC, those those chambers are climatically controlled, so we can soak the packs down to, you know, we, could, we can go down to minus 40, we can operate um, the cooling system so we can understand how the warming strategy might work with the battery pack and then test it under representative temperatures to understand how it performs under those different conditions. Yeah, agree. Mm. Okay. Uh, so then once we've got a pack, we've tested it, it's validated from a perspective of being on its own, then mm. we can then start introducing the pack to the vehicle. Yeah. So it's then integrating the vehicle, uh, integrating the pack into the vehicle, sorry. Yeah. So what does that entail, really? Um, I guess, you know, in terms of things that we can support, we obviously work with, with different manufacturers on, on their pack integration. We've got vehicle... Um, build facilities so we can support um, fitment of packs into demonstrator cars. We can support the design and integration of those packs into existing cars, or we can kind of work alongside the vehicle manufacturers as part of the sort of yeah, developing the, the installation for, for the pack in the final vehicle. It really, yeah, it's quite project dependent on, on the sort of size of the project. Um, but say the vehicle build facilities are here to support that, and we can support the instrumenting of packs both in the, in the battery development centre and, and for vehicle, vehicle testing. Time, is it? Yeah. So once it's in a vehicle, but well, then we need to control it. Yes. And, and that's obviously then because it's the controls department into yeah, it as yeah. well. So what does that entail really? Uh, again, well, you know, our, our controls department offer like a full range of services from using our own in-house developed controllers for sort of smaller, lower volume applications or prototype packs. But they're also familiar with working with a number of sort of you know, proprietary BMS systems, yeah. or they can work with the OEM systems on on you know optimizing the calibrations for the for the different applications. So and that's working out the strategies of how the battery is being used in the vehicle. And yeah, like exactly. That as well. And that feeds. Yeah, there's the BMS side of the calibration, and then there's also working on the vehicle power management side as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So once then, obviously, we've got the pack into the vehicle. We've done all the control system development. Then we can actually do the vehicle testing mm. here in house as well. So yeah. We've got our facility as a vehicle development centre, so what does that include that allows us for testing electric Well again, vehicles? within our with our, our vehicle development centre, we've, we've got two four-wheel drive chassis dynos. We can run the vehicles in there under a range of climatic and altitude um, conditions, and we can run the packs through representative drive cycles and usage cases. We can look at the, um, the range capability of the pack in an actual vehicle uh, and monitor those on our facilities. That's good. And so the finally then really, well, moving on then from vehicle testing in our facilities, you want to really then take the vehicle mm. out into the real world and get it really tested yeah. out there. So we do a lot of that work as well. Again, again, we, you know, we can support sort of 
road drives, fleet, fleet um, data gathering. Yeah, within our control system, we have a, a number of vehicles that are out on fleets with remote data loggers gathering data from the cars whilst they're being used under sort of real world conditions. And we can bring that data back to a central storage location and we can analyze and process that data to see how the packs are performing in vehicles um, out in the field. Yeah, that's excellent. Yeah. yeah, okay, and then finally, once we're then handing over the design over to the customer, we can mm. help them with production, really. So if they want to move into production with the battery pack, we can help them yeah. support that production process. No, exactly. And I think, you know, as part of this process, this is our whole sort of process from start to finish, and we can support customers all the way through, you know, for all aspects of the program. Um, but we can also do, um, you know, aspects of this process as well, so we can drop in and out yeah. at appropriate stages as well. Okay. Yeah. I appreciate your time, Adrian, today. It's been really helpful and hopefully it's gave everybody an insight really into the full development cycle for a, a battery development program. Um, it's here available by Marla Powertrain and we can help out wherever we can on your battery projects. So listen again next time for the next MPT Tech Talks.